Yeah, you should hurry up and do your intro. Hi, welcome back to Todd Fun. This is what our project's going to be working on. Hi, welcome to ToddFun.com. This week we got a little bit of a project. Uh, this is a, a, essentially a nervous system uh, model uh, that hangs at the local community college in the hallway. And apparently there's been some problems with some of the buttons and stuff, and it's really that simple. I'm going to look at a few buttons. Alex and I are going to see if we can clean things up a little bit. Um, this is called the uh, autonomic nervous system. Um, we'll have Alex uh, zoom in on it. Um, it's a big box with lights and stuff in it. So I'll go ahead and turn it on while Alex zooms in. So um, you can see that there's lighting. There's a little damage here. We'll have to fix that from the inside. We'll have to tape that up. But apparently there's light bulbs behind these different things. And these aren't speakers. These are just mount holes for screwing the top on. And as you push these buttons, it, it essentially interrupts that nervous system. Like this is the fifth lumbar. And when I push that, it basically will turn off whatever those nerves go to. And that's just how it's sort of to see, apparently, what organs are affected by the nerves leaving the spinal column here. Um, down here at the bottom, it says sympathetic is in yellow and para parasympathetic is in green. But I think there's a lot of fading on this. And of course, we're not going to try and restore the, the color or anything. We're just going to make sure the buttons work and the lights work. Um, one of the things we notice is as you push the lights and it will turn off um, the, the red ones seem to turn things on and the black ones turn things off, I'm not sure why. But when you push one and it turns something off, then other light bulbs get brighter. So I suppose there's a little bit of a voltage. Um, you, so you cut voltage to one and there's essentially more voltage for the other bulbs. But I think the intent is that these just get turned off is what they're trying to show. Um, we'll go ahead and turn the lights off so you can see this working and uh, we'll start testing the buttons. So with the lights off, you should be able to see the lighting, the little light bulbs underneath here. Uh, and some of them don't work, like on this button, it's supposed, I think it's supposed to light something but it doesn't do anything. Um, this one turns off, essentially looks like the kidneys, maybe the bladder. I, and, and as you work up, you can see, like this one and this one both cut the same signal. And the, the, these lights get brighter, but I only think that's just, a, just because of the way the wiring is. And that turns off essentially the large intestine. And then the students can come up to this in the hallway and they can push the different buttons. It's an interactive little display so they can kind of see what, what parts of the spine will affect, uh, damage to this part of the spine will affect these organs. And, and they're learning anatomy and they're going, a lot of them are going to be nurses and doctors. And so it's good that they uh, learn these things. This one seems to dim this one, but it doesn't really turn it off completely. That's interesting. And so we'll take note that this one, Thoric Fifth, doesn't really turn anything off. It just dims it. That may be by design. That turns off the lungs. And I suppose this is the heart. So you would only get damage there because that goes to the heart. And as you work your way up, these red ones actually turn on parts of the brain, apparently. Um, this one doesn't seem to do anything as well. So I'm not sure. Huh. So this one turns on these brain parts and then turns off these over here, like the eyeballs and stuff, where they're showing the correlation. Well, that really brightens it up. I don't understand. At any rate, we'll open it up and see if there's any switches we have to clean up, make sure everything's good, put it back together, fix that damage down there, and this should be ready to go back to the community college. Okay, this, I believe, is the main power button that just turns it on and off and the cap of the button is missing so maybe we can just leave it on all the time or get a bigger button or something. These I thought might be speakers but they're not. I kind of looked down in there and I could see bolts. So I believe these just, we just need to hook these out and then unscrew those screws down in there and hopefully that's how the top comes off because it doesn't come apart from the back side at all. Okay we got the screws out so I think this will lift up now and we got it unplugged even though we do have an isolation transformer over here. We are safe. I just don't want to well, that's clever. It's got another outlet inside, so we'll unplug that from that outlet. Okay, it looks like we can just flip it right over. That's the inside. It's just nothing but a plug-in. There we go. Whoa. Can you see that, Alex? Yep. 
Okay. Okay, so we have a, uh, a transformer here, and it says its output is uh, 6.3 volts. So this is all 6.3 6 volt system here. And it looks like they're, they're just little bayonet style um, um, uh, six volt lights. So basically the same thing that's in my pinball machine. So I most likely, if any of these were burned out, I could use the, the lights from my pinball machine most likely if they're six volts. That would be the same exact thing. There's a couple of fuses here. It looks like there's, a, there's an in fuse here for the, the mains in coming into the transformer. And then out of the transformer in the 6 volts, there's going to be a 6 volt um, fuse going to this. Looks like we're going to have common going all the way up and down through the one side of the buttons. And then we're going to have a daisy chain of these light bulbs all the way up this way and across these. So, yeah, looks like they're in parallel. See, uh, replace with 6 amp fuse and this is replaced with one amp fuse. It's, it's quite well made. Oh well, let's start looking at contacts. So we're taking a look at it. Um, the mains is coming in here, so the only two dangerous parts are these two parts. That's 120 volts here. But after here, everything else is 6 volts. And it's actually the same uh, exact bayonet style light bulbs as my pinball machine. So I can go ahead and, uh, and put those in uh, if there are any burned out ones. And what it looks like is happening is the 6 volt comes to this first button, which has two paths up this button array. One path goes to the top and is, is just hardwired all the way back down, and the other path goes through a half ohm resistor. Now the point of that is when you push this button down here, it didn't look like anything happened because all you're doing is changing from full 6 volts to whatever you're dropping through this dropper resistor. So things should get a little dimmer if this is interrupted. And for the most part, all these uh, push buttons um, are interrupt. They basically interrupt. They're, they're currently uh, normally closed switches. Uh, and when you push the buttons, they become open. With one exception, and that is up here, if you can zoom in on this, Alex. So this one, you'll notice, is different. There's actually just normally uh, closed connectors. And this one has a normally closed. But then when you push it, it will become, it makes a separate contact. So this is the one. Where this is the only button, when you push it, it makes a second contact on the back side. So you're breaking a connection here, and on this side you're making a connection. And that connection make, if you will, is then what's lighting this uh, brain activity up. So this is the only uh, make switch that is in the circuit. Okay, this is a contact cleaner. I learned about this from uh, uh, Brian's Mobile One YouTube channel. I'll put a link to it in the show notes as well as a link to this um, on Amazon. And what it is, is it's a really fine contact cleaner. Um, it's got, it's, it's rough, but only ever so slightly rough. And it's for good, for cleaning contacts like this. So Alex will show us cleaning the contacts. We'll make sure it's fully unplugged when we do this. You can zoom in if you want, Alex. Okay, so all we're really going to do is just lift this normally closed contact and slide this uh, con uh, point, basically it's a points file. And we're just going to give it a couple of scrapes back and forth, and it's 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 not it's not going to grind anything off. It's just going to clean and tarnish. We'll do that to each one of these switches so that we're for sure getting good switch contact. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little flyby, a flyover of the circuit so that uh, you'll understand exactly what the wiring is in case some of the students want to know how this is all wired in the back side. So come down. Okay, so here's that first switch that you either have two paths, either one through a resistor or one without. Um, and then these black wires are going over to the light bulbs. So the, this would get power from upstream and through a couple switches. Um, it's either going to get from this side or from this white wire. At any rate, you can, if you look carefully and follow, you're going to see that there, these are going over to the light bulbs and there's two bright contacts. And then there's power here and there it goes to the light bulb through there. So that'll break the wire power going this way. This has got power coming in here and this button will either make or break power going to the, these two switches since there's no light bulb here. Coming over here, this is getting power from these two, so if you disconnect these two, then, then this one back here will, uh, will lose power to its light bulb if these two are, are disconnected. 
um, either one of them, then this one's got its, its feeding power this way or to these two. Coming up to here, there's actually a light bulb on this one, so it'll break that one. This is a, a, a making power uh, to go to this one. So if this one's disconnected, this light bulb will come off, as well as this one will make that one. So both of these vertebrae positions would make this light come off. And then over here, same kind of deal. You got a couple ganged up here with one light bulb. Up here you have a couple ganged up for a light bulb. And then you got another couple here. This one and this one have to make this one. This one up here has to make this one. This is the, this is the make and break contact That's for the, that makes the brain tissue light up. And this is the top switch. This one will actually disconnect this high voltage one. Essentially it's not high voltage, but 6.2, 6.3 volts in favor of only having um, the lower voltage coming up through the resistor down through these things. So that is, uh, that is that. And so the rest of it is just light bulbs and they're not too terribly confusing. They come off of these switches. Okay, I'm gonna plug in the uh, isolation transformer um, and turn it on so the light should come on. And Alex will turn off his lights and I'll turn off my lights. And we can take a look at it. We have good clean contacts and everything. And it just dimmed down, didn't it? Why did it do that? Did you notice that? Yeah. So this is this would be bad to dangerous voltage here, but it is an isolation transformer, so there is some safety. But everything up here is six volts. So I found that interesting that that dimmed down. So let's well so this one's touchy up here. So this, remember I said this is a high voltage, this, oh, this is the 6.3 volts, and then we could measure the voltage, but it's, it's basically just a voltage drop through here. So that's what happens, that gets dim when you, when you hit this top button up here, right here. Likewise, it should get, if we made this one, there, we got that one, this is being finicky. Uh, now we got them all bright again, we'll come down here and we'll hit this very bottom one, and that should also make them dim because then you're stuck with just that resistor. Yeah, see? And then the rest of the buttons are just turning off different sets of lights over there. I'm just working my way up. And they're just combinations of different makes and breaks of the circuit. Yeah, we're just checking all the light bulbs. And I don't see any light bulbs out, do you, Alex? No. And then that, this, this make and break turns on the brain here and turns off these two and turns these on. And the last button just dims them all. So if you had damage here, you would have reduced nervous system everywhere. If you had damage down here, you'd have reduced nervous system everywhere. It's kind of what the students are probably supposed to learn. I'm not in biology, so I don't really know. Uh, but this switch is obviously needs a little bit more cleaning, so I'm going to do a little bit more contact cleaning on this because it's, it's a little bit flaky. It should be a nice solid on and off. Likewise, I'll do the same down here. Okay, this is the on-off switch for the whole panel. It takes the, uh, it takes the mains coming in. And it does have a broke, it's kind of, the button's missing on the other side, and it doesn't quite turn on and off. And because this circuit gets kind of warm, it'd be best if it was left off uh, when you're not actually playing with it. Uh, so we're going to see if I can take this off and replace it with a better switch. Don't burn yourself. Oh, oh so under there. No, okay. It burns. You can see it? Yeah. Okay, so this was the original on-off switch, and it, it's it's not quite working right. Uh, not sure how damaged it is. Uh, but I was digging through my bin of parts, and I found this salvage switch off of something. I think it was a something. Apple. An apple, maybe. An apple. But it's rated at 125 volts and 15 amps, so that's going to be more than enough for uh, this device, of course. And it's got some good clunky uh, connectors. We'll, we'll put some spades on here so we can just spade right onto that. This will get bolted on there. And hopefully we can retrofit this cool on-off switch. Oh, here we go. We got the uh, that salvaged uh, on-off switch uh, in place. And had to do a little bit of a countersink here to get it in deep enough so the button action would work. Had to remove a little bit of wood here so these could slide on. Um, put these spades on so it's easy to remove. And if we come up. Now I should be able to just click the clunker switch, and we got lights. Nice big button now, works great. There, I've turned off the lights, so it show up better. Now we got, it's brighter because now that one switch that was a little bit uh, dirty, uh, that gave the higher voltage to everything, that's on. And of course this will break that, so now everything goes dim. 
and likewise this one will break that so they go dim. Um, this one is the make and break one that switches between these, those are the eyes and stuff and the brain. That's a make and break switch. Uh, and then the rest of these are just however they uh, disconnect um, different parts of the anatomy. And they're all labeled here and the organs are labeled here. And there, a nice, uh, nice thing will go back on the wall again. Uh, they can, uh, students can use it to understand some of their nervous system anatomy. Uh, I would also say that uh, it might come in handy uh, for them to look at the video. Thanks for joining. Thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, if you watch this because you actually see this and use this, uh, I'd like to hear about it. Thanks. Thanks for joining. And if you remember, I bought a whole bunch of LED lights for my pinball machine, and this does use standard Bayonet 44 pinball lighting at 6 volts. So what we did is we stuck a, we kind of mixed and matched the different LED um, lights in in here uh, just to see how they look. They look great. I get nice red heart, get purple pancreas, some green ooey pooey, <laughs> a, a blue eye, and then over here we get some nice colors in the brain tissue. So yeah, now it's LED lit. That's cool.